Brooklyn Independent Television. And we are continuing our early high school look at high school football in the PSAL. And joining me, of course, is the defending champs. I got two players here, played on that team, played in that game also. The PSAL championship game at Yankee Stadium where they defeated Lincoln High School and they went undefeated 9-0. and Joining me is defensive linebacker, middle linebacker. Uh, Robert Thomas. Defensive end, Mensa Ibrick. And gentlemen, let's go over that year. That was an incredible year to go undefeated. I can't sit now. Technically, I know you went undefeated, PSAL-wise. I know you lost to Poly Prep, but that doesn't matter. But I just had to set the record. I had to set the record straight. All right, good. All right. Now, um, let's talk about last year. What did that mean to you guys as far as the team, defense? You guys were juniors. You were looking at this through as underclassmen. Yeah, it was, it was pretty big for us to win. Uh, we, we just helped our seniors to get out, take their class out with a ring. Now we're just trying to do it this year again. I mean, exactly what Rob said. We, you know, we did it for our seniors, you know, every day during camp. You know, we just worked hard. Our motto was, you know, we work harder than everybody else. You know, every day was a race. And we just had to just push forward. We know that nobody was going to work harder than us, and that's it. Like, we knew once we hit Yankee Stadium that we was going to let nobody take it. That's the bottom line. Because, you know, generally, I was like, man, it, it's a shame to lose in the playoffs, mm -hmm. to get all the way during the regular season and then lose. And I was saying, well, hopefully they'll get to the championship game. But whoever loses at the championship game, it's a shame because the season, you feel the season is for nothing, right? Well, we had a, we had a taste of that in 2010 yeah, yeah, with Curtis. That, that just put, made us want to push even harder for this year, fight for our seniors. So was it like every week you had to raise your game mentally and physically because, you, because of what happened when you played Curtis yeah. that two years ago? Basically, yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't on the team then, but I remember seeing him on the sideline. I just, everybody crying, like you seeing grown men cry. Like that feeling, even though I wasn't even on the team, I didn't want that. I didn't want that for my seniors. And I knew I was going to give him my all. I just, just piggyback off of what Mensa said. I just wanted to pick up and let, um, pick up and finish off where we left off. Any, as far as the season, I know season starts, uh, I believe, first, second week of September, September 10th. September 10th. Yeah. Right. Now, any particular team you're looking forward to uh, playing kick? You know, I know no. you're going to play Lincoln. You'll play Lehman also, right? Play Lehman first. Yeah. We're just taking it one game at a time. We're not looking past the first game. The, the, the game, the, the most important game that's coming up is the game that, that we're playing next. Exactly. Mm -hmm. one, one game at a time. That's Defensively, it. who's coming back with you? Uh, we have a, uh, a pretty good defense coming back. We have a little bit of experience on it, and we're just going to work off of that. Just get the older guys to help the younger guys out, and hopefully we'll be back where we want to be. I mean, we got a returning safety, uh, two defensive linemen, linebacker. I mean, so we, we did lose a lot. You saw a lot last year, but, you know, our coaching staff is just, I feel like it's the best, and that's what a lot of people say, so we just got to use it to our advantage. Let's go back to that moment playing that championship game at Yankee Stadium. That the morning you guys woke up, that day, that evening after the game was over. Let's let's try to relive that experience. What was describe how you felt that particular moment? Uh, it didn't really hit me until we the that, the, the clock had hit zero, and everybody started cheering and, and for him to name was in lights. But the day as the whole, it was, it felt regular. It felt like we were supposed to do that, and we were. It felt like we were supposed to come out with the W, and we did. So you weren't basically in awe of playing up there at all? Nah, it didn't feel like that at all. I mean, once we stepped on that field, it felt a little different, seeing the huge crowd, a huge stadium. But once that first play, the first hit, you know, you feel a little, you know, oh, all right, all right. Second, second play, that's it, right back into the game. That's how I felt. And I, I, you know, I can say the rest of my whole team, that's how I think it. Defensively, what type of defense you play, playing this year also? Is there any change? No, no change. No, no change. Any particular teams you're not looking forward to playing? Maybe Curtis, Lehman, any particular teams? No, no guys, particular so teams. You're all taking it one, it's not just a saying, it's not just a cliche, you are taking it one week at a time. I kind of do want to, I do want to face Lincoln again. Because okay. I know they always say two points, two points, so I don't know. I still want to take that. I know I ain't, I ain't supposed to be saying that, but that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, Lincoln High School heard that two points, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Two points, one point, a win is a win, right? You won the championship. You guys went undefeated. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. Right. So, you know what? We're gonna wish you guys luck for the rest no, of the season as the season progresses, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you guys somewhere deep in the playoffs again. Yeah, definitely. Right. Mint. Right, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Tom. Thank you. See you guys again, especially at Buffalo Wild Wings, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Later. All right. Well, we'll be back with the offense right after this. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.